so big. And that's the last light. Oh, really? I just hop in the car, headed over to the airport right now, going to JFK. Usually it does not take that long to get there, but today there's a lot of traffic. And so I don't know if I'm gonna make it. It'll actually be a miracle if I make this flight. I forgot that I have to check this bag in. So that's why I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> Made really good time there. <laughs> Doesn't look too busy. I think we might make it on time. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Where are you headed to? Uh, Salt Lake City. Too late. Uh, no chance? The flight is on time. Literally no chance. Unfortunately, one hour cut off time. Uh, um, and that's the last flight of the night. Oh, really? Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> I missed the cutoff. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. I, uh, I feel like I usually don't miss these, but. I missed the cutoff. They're not gonna let me check the snowboard in. I could still get on the flight, but I have like so many things packed in here. It's like, I don't know. Okay, so I just got off the phone with customer service. They said they couldn't rebook for me unless I paid like $900. So I just ended up booking a new flight for tomorrow. It was like $200, so we'll try this again tomorrow. Can't believe I missed that flight. Deja vu all over again. <sighs> no lines today. <laughs> Thank you. Over there? Yeah. Thanks. Shoes, shoes off, pockets empty, no water's in the bag. I'm going to the lounge right now just because I have an hour to kill. At least I didn't miss the flight. <laughs> okay, so today I'm flying off to Utah and I've never been to Utah, but I needed a good excuse to go snowboarding this season. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, you guys know I just bought a snowboard like a few months back. I haven't had the chance to use it at all. Normally every winter, I try to go snowboarding like two or three times minimum. And I think it'll just be a good little escape from New York. Okay, so I'm getting off my flight right now. I was supposed to get on a connection flight. I got delayed though on this flight. I don't know, they were on the intercom saying they needed to tape something in the engine. So I literally just missed that connection flight and they actually took my suitcase when I boarded. So don't have my suitcase. I don't have my snowboard. I really only have this backpack right here and I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to get to Salt Lake City. I'm kind of screwed. Either I'm gonna spend the night here and fly out in the morning or I think I'm gonna try to talk to Delta and see if they can uh, get me on any other flight tonight. But from what I know, there's no other flight tonight. So hi, how are you? I'm just on that same flight um, to Salt Lake City. Yeah. I'm officially flying out of here in the morning at like say 8 a.m. The universe does not want me to go to Salt Lake City, but we will persevere. Luckily, there's another flight out at like 8 a.m. So I think I'm gonna actually get to Salt Lake City by around 10.30 a.m. And my goal is actually to go snowboarding tomorrow. I can't believe I'm saying this again, but I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Made it to Kyle and Ali's place, uh, spending the next few days here. It feels so nice to be finally in Utah. I feel like I've been trying to make it here for the past 
three days now. And I actually have something that I'm really excited for. I told Insta360 that I was going snowboarding and they sent me all this gear, including their Insta360 X3. I actually almost bought this camera. And so when they were like, hey, we'll just send you the X3 and all this gear, I was like, that is so perfect. Oh, I love that it just can fit in the palm of my hand. That's so nice. So this is the Insta360 X3. And the thing about this camera is that it's a 360 camera. So you could just shoot first however you want and then you could reframe it later. You can get 360 footage that's 5.7K resolution. And I think today I'm probably gonna use it with this invisible selfie stick. You can get these like impossible third person views. They also sent me this really long one. <laughs> it kind of looks like you're getting drone footage, but it's literally just this selfie stick extended like this. Insta360 also has a really powerful editing suite. So you could just edit off the Insta360 software. I think we're just gonna try to hit the slopes. I'm excited to put this to use and see what footage I can get. You wanna get a cool vlog scene where you shut up, shut everything, then you open nah, it? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, that would be totally lame. Nah, that would be lame. That'd be so <laughs> Dude, I love your car. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so winded right now, and we haven't even started. <laughs> look at this camera I have on my head. <laughs> you look like a bug. <laughs> I really hope I don't pass out. I'm like actually no. lightheaded. <laughs> I guess it's high elevation here. City folks, just don't get it. <laughs> Are you ready? We're ready. We're ready, let's do this. Uh, how are we feeling? I feel okay. okay. feel pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna pass out anymore. All right, look at this snow. Look at this snow. This is wild. Oh my God, <laughs> look at this powder. Guys, we are here in Utah. I'm happy. This is my happy place. Some of you guys might be like, oh, like that snow is not even that good, but you have to understand, I grew up snowboarding and skiing on the East Coast, so this is insane. Oh my God, look how crazy high the snow is. All right, let's do it. Woo! right now where we're staying but there's a steep hill right here apparently this car is not gonna make it so we're just gonna go by foot slippery slippery oh shit, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh no it's okay i got it on camera you're good don't worry guys look at the size of this hill that we just lugged all this luggage up people are still making their way up right now but we made it to the cabin This place is so big. It's crazy. Oh, this is such a nice room with all the fireplace. Oh my god. I found my backpack. I was literally like, oh, this is such a great room. And I just saw my name tag on this backpack. Look at this. Wow. I want to snowboard down this hill. There's like a hill right here. Oh my god. Imagine waking up and snowboarding down. Mr. Elliot. Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna be a good weekend. Oh yeah. Morning, how are you? Good, good. I'm scoping out this property right now to see if there's any spot for me to go snowboarding down a hill. I think just looking for like a steep hill really. They're giving us a few hours of free time here. I think I'm gonna attempt to make a small ramp. I've never done this. 
I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. The snow's so heavy. Nice little mound. Pack the snow all the way down. It might be big enough. I don't need that much height. Let's go get the snowboard. I might just send it for a try. Oh, there's snow. Oh, <laughs> there's snow. I'll try another, okay? Oh, fuck, I missed it. All right, let's try to land this. I just need to land this once. Woo! <laughs> Dude, it's just so steep. It's the wrong angle. It's a little bit too steep. I go straight up. I need to flatten it out a little bit. That should help. Oh yeah. That should be a lot smoother. Woo! Woo! My first landing. That is so much better. That's the one right there. I did it. <laughs> Let's go. I feel good now. That jump was sick. Something about this makeshift park is just kind of more fun than <laughs> going to the actual ski resort. I don't know what it is. All right, we're gonna try to ride down and maybe get pulled by the car. We don't know if there's like a really good path down there, but we're gonna try our best. This is so fun. The hill is a little bit steep. Yeah, yeah. Low key. You got it. Let's go. I think I've never had this much fun snowboarding even on ski lifts. This is better. And we're pretty much just snowboarding on like a dirt path. 